When you think about skin smoothing, a lot of times people like to go directly into Photoshop. But honestly, Lightroom has a lot of power and creative tools that you can do skin smoothing right there. And you can do it quickly. The latest version of Lightroom now has a skin smoothing and a skin smoothing light uh, selection for your adjustment brushes, which I find irksome because I used to have a free giveaway for some skin smoothing and other tools, and now they're all built into Lightroom. But that's okay. We're going to take a look at that today. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm here to help you get the most out of your photography software. And today we're going to be looking at Lightroom Classic Skin Smoothing. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got a portrait here. Uh, everything seems to be nice, well exposed. And honestly, I'm mostly happy with this, but everybody who wants to have a portrait taken seems to want a little bit of skin smoothing. You see down here on her chest, there's a little bit of room there for some improvement. And there's a bit of shine on her face. So let's see what we can do to improve this. So we're going to go into the develop module. And typically, here's what would happen. You'd select an adjustment brush. And now you see that you have these new options here for soften skin and soften skin light. We're going to go ahead and go on to soften skin. And typically, you'd look at your flow. It's set for 50%. And you can just kind of start painting on here. And I've got the... Uh, overlay showing so you can see a little bit of red build up I'll turn there it is turn it on, on and you can just keep on building up until you get all the way over that and let me go ahead and change this flow so it's going to be up at a hundred percent and just make sure that we have that mask covering over there all right so let's stop there and i'm going to turn the overlay off and you can see a little before and after so this is what we've done with the skin smoothing let me turn this off and that's where we were before. So you can see that it's evened out the skin tones. It's gotten rid of, you know, some of the variations on there. And you just got a nice, softer looking forehead. Now, the problem with using the adjustment brush is that you've got little areas like right here underneath her eyebrows, above her lashes, that are going to be tough to get into. And the same thing just all around it, and particularly with her hair. There's a better way to do this. So I'm going to take this and get rid of it. And instead, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get a radial mask. And I'm just going to draw this over her face. Well, not going to worry about her chest right now. And you can see that it automatically puts it everywhere where the radial mask is. The problem with that is that it puts it on her eyes, it puts it on her teeth, it puts it in places where you really don't want it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to refine that mask. I'm going to turn on the overlay again. And you can see how it's kind of going even beyond there. It's on her hoodie. We don't want skin smoothing in all those places. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the range mask and we're going to turn this on to color. Then we're going to pick up this eyedropper and we're going to select the colors that we want it to target. So I'm going to just draw a little square on her forehead. And do you see how that just automatically changed everything? It's not this big radial mask going everywhere. It's very targeted. There's a couple of ways that you can improve this mask. One is to come over here to the amount and I'm going to, just for effect, I'm going to pull this all the way down and you can see where it goes and where it doesn't. You can see that her teeth are very bright white now, so it's not on that. Same thing with her eyes, but also we've lost a little bit here on her chin and possibly over here on her cheek. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back up. And I think that's a nicer spot. There are still a couple of problems. Like you can see, I chose this photo in particular because she's blonde and that's close to her skin tone. What you can do then is come over here, select a brush, and click Erase. And now we're just going to go in here, and I'm going to check the flow. The flow is at 100. You may want to get a, a lower flow, but I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to brush this right out of her hair. And you could do the same thing with her eyes. So if you can see over here on this eye, there's a little bit too much in there. I'm going to just remove the size of this, and I'm just going to go over and erase this out of her eyes. And I'm also going to take it off of her eyebrows because I don't want that to be smooth. And I'll just make sure that's all the way there. And overall, that's a nice tight mask. Now I can turn this off and let me turn off this thing. And you can see this is what the skin smoothing's done. Effectively, it's taken the clarity down to minus 100 and you can see that it's brought sharpness up a little bit. And as we zoom in, You can see there's still pores in her skin. Now, you may still have to come back here and do some uh, 
spot healing, maybe move some hairs or things like that. But as far as the skin smoothing itself, it's done a magnificent job. And if you want to change it, if you think maybe this is too much skin smoothing, you can come over here to the clarity and just bring that back up a little bit. So that's just a quick and easy way to select skin for retouching and skin smoothing. Now, we can do the same thing down on her chest because the worst thing we could do is possibly leave her face looking so smooth and then it really kind of draws attention to her chest. So all we're going to do is we're going to select new and I'm going to draw another radial. Let me turn on my O key so I can see what I'm looking at. Let's select that. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Move it over here to the center a little bit. So I'm covering the area that I need to cover. And again, we just want to go back over to the range mask for this one. We're going to turn it to color. We're going to select the eyedropper and you're going to point it down, hold it and draw out. I'm using a Wacom pen, so I don't have to click anything for this. If you're using your mouse, you may have to click and drag. Basically, you want to make a square uh, that selects the color tone of the skin that you want to be able to mask. And then once I've done that, I've got a pretty good mask here. Again, it's on her hair. So I've got both options. I can come back over here. I can reduce the amount of the mask. And I'm pulling this back a little too far. You can see like in the shadows under her chin on her neck, it's going off. So I want to bring this back out to make sure I'm covering the areas that I want. And usually I find between 30 and 45 is, is a good number for me on the range mask for color. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over here, select a brush. And I'm going to select erase. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger since I had it small for the eye. And I'm just going to brush right over her hair because I don't want that to be affected. And, you know, the size of the brush really depends upon what you want to cover and not cover for the range mask that you're erasing. But just remember to use erase. All right, so now that I've got that and I've got my skin smoothing, I'm going to turn off the overlay. I'm going to turn off this little radius right there and let's take a quick look at before and after so that's before and that's after and obviously there are other things that you want to do for portrait retouch this one was just looking at the skin smoothing and i think the easiest way to do it is to avoid working with the adjustment brush go ahead and get a radial mask then get your range mask set on color draw a little square from the eyedropper on the skin color that you want and it'll just build that mask in for you almost perfectly. You're going to have to do a little bit of adjustment with the amount slider here and also with a brush on erase. But other than that, let me know in the comments below. Which do you prefer? Do you like using the adjustment brush? You can get in there and tweak everything individually by hand, or do you like this method using the uh, radial brush and then going into range mask? If you like this video, that's great. I'm hoping that I can provide more videos for you to help you. It would really help us out if you would go ahead and like this video to show me that it's something that you appreciate and that you're looking for more of this kind of information. And also, if you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified next time I come up with another video. Thanks so much. We'll see you again next time.